This is Alexander, an AI agent that has zero hours of training. The only thing it can do for now is to fumble around making random actions in its environment. In this video, we will teach Alexander the very useful skill of archery. With this new skill, he can hunt for his own food and even protect itself from its enemies. In order for Alexander to learn archery, we have first equipped him with a bow and an infinite supply of arrows. In addition to this, we gave him a shield that can protect him from arrows coming his way. We also gave Alexander a sword, but he will not be learning to use it just yet. Our approach to teaching Alexander archery is called deep reinforcement learning. In simple terms, this means Alexander learns by interacting with his environment, making decisions, and receiving feedback based on his actions. Every time he successfully hits a chicken, he earns a positive reward. However, if he misses his target or tries to move outside the boundaries of his map, he receives a negative reward. This system helps him understand which actions lead to success and which ones to avoid. We begin Alexander's training on a small map filled with plenty of chickens, ensuring he quickly learns that hunting yields rewards while missing targets or straying out of bounds does not. As Alexander's skills improve, we'll increase the difficulty by expanding the map and reducing the number of chickens. This technique, known as curriculum learning, allows Alexander to build his expertise step by step. Alexander seems to be learning how to move, aim, and shoot effectively. His initial fumbling is gradually giving way to more precise actions as he starts to understand the mechanics of archery. To truly test his capabilities, we're putting Alexander in more challenging conditions. Now the map is significantly larger, and the chicken supply has been reduced. This means Alexander will have to travel longer distances to locate his targets and aim with greater accuracy to ensure he doesn't miss. These new conditions require him to not only refine his shooting skills, but also to strategize his movements and manage his resources efficiently. With Alexander now an expert archer, his training is complete. But how do his skills stack up against real competition? It's time to put him to the test. Say hello to Frank, another AI agent who's slightly less experienced than Alexander due to less training time. Frank can shoot arrows too, but will he stand a chance? In a one-on-one -on -one duel, Frank doesn't seem to have much hope. Alexander's precision and strategy outmatch him at every turn. Even when we increase the number of Franks, Alexander continues to dominate. It turns out that it takes at least five francs to pose a significant challenge to our seasoned archer. This sparks an exciting idea, a large-scale battle between the Alexander tribe and the Frank tribe. We set up an epic showdown, and despite being outnumbered, the Alexander AI tribe emerges victorious. 
It's clear that when it comes to AI wars, experience beats numbers. But let's take this experiment a step further. What if I step into Alexander's shoes and control him directly, replacing his artificial brain with my own tactics? Do I stand a chance against the Frank tribe? Let's find out! It takes time and strategy to adapt to his abilities, but after several intense battles, I finally secure a win. I have to admit, the Franks gave me a real challenge. This whole journey shows just how powerful and exciting AI training can be. If you want to play around with this AI project, then stay tuned because I'll be uploading it and posting the link in the description box below. Now, if you enjoyed this adventure and want to see more epic AI training examples, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell. I've got plenty more experiments and challenges coming your way.